Welcome to the Tech Exploration STEM Lab. Today we're going to be working with sound and vibration. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a straw reed instrument. For this you're going to need a straw and you're going to need a scissors. And what you're going to do is you're going to make the reed. Now first thing you're going to do is you're going to flatten the end of this. And I just flatten with my fingers and then I use my teeth. And I just flatten it down. Now you're going to need to point it with the scissors. When you're done, it should look kind of like a chicken beak. Now, when you put this in your mouth, you're going to make sure your lips are not on the reed. It's got to be in a little bit. Now, go ahead and put it in your mouth, and you're going to blow. Now, this may take a little practice. You're going to keep trying until finally you get it. Here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, all tingly. Now, you notice it's fairly low pitch because the sound is traveling through the whole straw. That's going to slow down the vibration, which means lower pitch. Now if we shorten it, it's going to vibrate faster and it's going to be higher pitch. So let's give it a try. Kind of fun. You should give it a try. Oh, by the way, you can do one other thing. If you make another reed, flatten it out, make the reed, now you can make little holes in it. For this, you're going to cut little notches. You don't want to cut all the way through, you're just going to make a hole by making a little notch. Let's try that again. Then you make another one. And you can make pretty much as many as you want. Now if I put my finger over this, if I go like this, the sound vibration has to go all the way through the straw, which makes it fairly low pitch. If I open this up, it only goes this far, makes it higher pitch. Go like this, it's going to be even higher pitch. Let's give it a try. <laughs> so go, go ahead and give it a try. 